this video, we're going to build a query in Google Sheets that includes the equivalent of a case statement. You use case statements in queries usually when you want to alter an existing field value uh, in your data set and maybe put those values into broader groups or buckets. So you can see here I have a data set of loan records and second column we have branch location and you can see we have different values here and what we want to do in our query is group some of these values into broader buckets so you can see we have northeast and southeast and what we'd like to do is create a query where the output groups northeast and southeast into a broader category of east and then does the same thing for northwest and southwest just groups that into a value of west. So we're going to begin with our query statement. And the first input is the data set we want to query off of, which is our values in columns A through C. Now we're actually going to insert our case statement equivalent in this first argument. And what we need to do here is break our data range and isolate column B by itself so we can apply some formulas to it. So what we need to do is isolate column B. So we're going to begin with an opening curly bracket because the curly brackets in Google Sheets allow you to join arrays that are separated back into one array. And that's what we're going to do here in order to apply functions to column B. So we still want to bring in columns A and C as they are. So I'm going to begin with a reference to column A. And then now we're going to bring in column B, but apply functions to that. We're going to begin with the array formula. And then the switch formula to apply our case statement equivalent. The reason we have the array formula is because the switch function does not produce an array output. And we need an array output because the query is an array output formula or function. And that's what the array formula does. It converts non-array outputs to an array. So... For the switch function, we want to look at an expression. Our expression is the value in column B. And the next arguments, we have a case or condition one, and then a value if that condition is matched. So our first condition is if the value in that column is equal to northeast, and then the output we want to return if that match is met. So we want to change that to a value of east. We want to do a similar thing if the value in that column is southeast. We want to produce an output of east. If the value is equal to northwest, we want to produce a value of west. And if the value is southwest, we want to produce a value of west also. Now, you can add a final default value in the switch function. And that's what we want to do here. We want it to return whatever's in column B if none of these other matches are met. And this is primarily just to pick up our header value because our header does not match any of these other case statements that we defined. And if we did not leave a default value there, it would return in A for our header. So we're done with our array formula and switch function. So we simply close that out with a set of parentheses, comma, and then we're going to join this back to our column C. 
So we're done with our first argument, so we can close that out with a curly bracket there. And now we go to our select statement. So for now, I want to select all three columns. So I'm going to say select star. And very important thing here, um, since we selected the entire columns here, A, A B, B, and C, C, we don't want to pull in blank rows in our query output. So we're going to add a where condition, reference any of those three columns, because I know they're all going to have values at least somewhere. So we'll just go with column one and state where column one is not null. Finally, we have the number of headers in our data set, which is one. So I'll hit enter, close that out, and you can see anywhere where we had northeast, we now have east. Anywhere we had southeast, we have east. Same deal for northwest, we now have west, and southwest, we have west. So now what if we wanted to summarize, you know, total our loan amounts by these new case statement outputs we created? So I'll go back into our select statement, and this time we simply want to return column two this time because column one is a loan ID, which is unique for every single line item. So we're wanting to summarize now, so we really want to, want to pull in columns two and three. So we reference column two and then we want to sum on column three because that's an aggregate field. And after our where condition, we want to group by our field that is not being aggregated, which is our case statement east west output. So hit enter. And you can see now we have our case statement output values grouped and summed by the loan amount. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.